here. And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. That was so surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, so I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as torture, right? I should right? take a picture to prove I'm That's still right, here. It's Plus, it's perfect for me, and I have to get my daily selfie quota. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was I done by I can't believe Robert I still have this pencil case. I should you upgrade to the 21st century. In your but textbook. I like or it old school. Online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me.
Victoria doesn't waste... Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive... I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't... Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. This might make a cool shot. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith? Good to see Avedon among the masters. Golly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure.
I like this panoramic view of Blackwell. Everything looks so green and serene. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Yeah, you you always welcome to the real world. Just cute. Huh. Then I might send you a special I picture. Like I you have to some sort of because Max wants everybody to see how you she plays She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. To all of you, American girls, Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos... Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. Driving a These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. Watching the world from the bright side yeah. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood To all of you American girls in the movies No one can Tell where your heart is American girls like There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria shiny smiles and plastic I think that's Courtney She's I such a slave to Taylor and Victoria Jack, kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. I cry sometimes walking around my own place, wondering why she cries. Yes, sometimes. this poster must stop bullies dead in talking their tracks. About her own place, 
somewhere around the mountain. Stella is always no deep in her notes. Her she didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Till she got tired to come play. That's Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Looks like she's been gone for months. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. American girls in the movies. No one can tell where your heart is. American girls like dollies. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. I wish I had. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? I guess we all should these days. There's the lighthouse again. I cry sometimes, walking around my own place. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Talking about her own place. Somewhere around the mountains. No one could try her fountain. Till she got tired to come play. That's what uh, I Samuel is such a weirdo, but I kind of like that about him. To the wild land. To your land. Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. doesn't come out of his office much. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. bother to write that crap.
Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress, you you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us in I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Diane, Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. I did it. Can you give me I actually a did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. Anybody? Bueller? My pencil case Diane is still Arvis. in the same place. There you go, Keep it together, Victoria. Max. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. When I took my selfie, like totally Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, she I'll know this is for real. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Portrait has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. 
Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The what first is American going on? Nothing has moved at all. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far away. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition and I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max? Don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving. Photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Yo, Daniel. You remember that? No, I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the Butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? 
What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that ever thing down! Tell me what to do! Well, sir, if it's happening again. People trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody I'm would too scared to get near this psycho. Your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Matt, no. holy shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time again, no, 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 I can no. help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people no, trying to control me. Nobody has a gun. I should do something have else. More trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk I need a hammer today. to break it open. Get away from me, psycho! Oh, shit! No. No, no, Max, no, no, you're no. going to get hurt. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people I'm trying to I'm too scared to get near me. this psycho. You're going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Max, Nobody you're going to get hurt. Never even missed your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, shit! No, 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 no! Oh, shit! No! No, 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 no! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, shit! No! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I need a hammer to break it open. No, 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 no! To control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate me? Out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. 
And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Don't wander around here. Get on outside. Don't wander around here. Get on outside. 